and gentlemen please like and subscribe to the channel like comment share and subscribe and press that post notification button so you never miss another video mm. you know i wish i would have had a video where we beat the raiders but you know what we beat washington and look everyone called it i was very weary about dallas i'm happy i was because they almost gave it up offense thank you um but we beat Washington, ladies and gentlemen. The Dallas Cowboys beat Washington. That's a great sentence to speak, 27-20. But let me just start off with this. This was a game that the team should have won, should have won at least by 20 to 30, or even 47 to 20. Not this awful one score game. Was it one score? Yeah, it was one score. And this minimal whatever, you know, play calling and Awful gameplay by the offense. Not so good, I might add. Let me just say that. The quarterback, our quarterback, didn't play well. I know Oscar tonight on the live show. By the way, we're going to have a live streaming of our bo both of our post-game reactions. So make sure you're on that. I will post it in the description. Uh, you know, he's going to say, Well, you know, Taylor Heineke made some terrible throws. He was uh, just terrible, awful. And he was. Tyler, Taylor Heineke was not a good quarterback for Washington. He absolutely played like Jack Diddley squat today. But the ground game for Dallas was, I would say, maybe mid-tier to say the least. The receivers had some pretty bad drops, and the offensive line was okay. The play calling was shit. I'm just going to put it that way. The offense was awful, and it's a problem. For Dallas, if they want to reach the Super Bowl, this is not a Super Bowl team. It's not a Super Bowl team with the offense playing the way it is. And I'm sorry, I am never going to take that back unless they fix it. Now, the defense gets an A in this game uh, overall. The offense gets about a D, just about, you know, uh, uh, to say the least. I think it could get an F for the way that they played, but I would give it an F had they lost. Um... But they should have hit at least 30 or 40 points in the first half. They should have dropped 40, but they didn't. But they didn't. This terrible offense is not going to help this team against teams like the Rams, like the Packers, like the Cardinals, not the Chiefs. It's it's just not. The offense, the offense collapsed down the stretch. The defense, well, they, they kind of... Let it go as well, but they stayed hanging around. Dak was okay in the first half, but awful in the second half. Now, there also seems to be two ways that drives end for the Dallas Cowboys. Either, A, um, they get, you know, two third and long, and then they get a couple of drops, you know, maybe a drop, maybe some penalties, or... Dak drop, you know, D Dak doesn't bail you out. That That's how it goes. That That's kind of how I see it. Now, in order of what's bad in Dallas, bad in the offense, Tom Downey had, um, from the Dallas Cowboys report, had said this. All right, so this is the order of what's wrong, what's broken. The play calling the O-line, Dak's terrible decisions, wide receivers, and their hands, and that's the order. I completely agree. I don't know what else to say. It's just that bad. Now, the Cowboys' defense played great. They allowed one or two drives. That's it. That's kind of how they won, but not the offense. In the first half, like I said, the Cowboys killed them, killed Washington. They absolutely were slaughtering them. 
you know, they covered the spread, which was nice, but it seemed that Washington's defense was also controlling Dallas because, you know, they should have dropped, like I said, at least 40. Now, uh, that is my summary of the game, but let's get to my actual post-game reactions. The, uh, reaction. Dallas wins 27-20. to 20. I predicted at least 30-25, to 25, so it, it sort of happened in that way. Oscar, I think, predicted, uh, you know, 27-17 or something like that. Um, I personally, you know, you know, I said 35-27 or 35-25, 30-25 because Dallas was going to do something to give it up, and they did. Now, let's talk about the offense's performance because it was awful. The way they got this, the way they got this win, it's fine, but... It doesn't make you feel better about the offense. If you watch this channel, you know why. The offense wasn't good at all today. They turned it over twice, had one horrible throw, one good, yeah, well, one awful, terrible decision by Dak. Maybe two of them with the two interceptions. And the ground game isn't operating very well either. 3.5 yards per carry, not that great. The third and fourth down game was better today, but they should have at least dropped 30 to 40 in the first half, as I said. Now, the entire offense from the quarterback, the play caller, the chemistry between the receivers and the quarterback to the receiver's hands and the blocking is badly broken. And I mean broken. Just no. You cannot have this keep going on forward. Now, the way the defense played, this team should have won by more than seven. Okay? They should have won more than that. Period. The Cowboys offense gave Washington a pick six. The Cowboys defense got them an additional seven on their own strip sack fumble recovery. Now... Uh, four takeaways. You had four takeaways by the defense today. Awesome job there. So defense was on its game. I know my dad was like, well, the defense was terrible. How is the defense terrible? It wasn't. It was the offense. Now, to be honest, had it not been for the defense, as I say every week on, you know, every week now on this channel, had it not been for them, the Washington team would have killed you, Cowboys. They would have feasted on you. They would have slaughtered you. The Cowboys offense got scared for most of the game. Now, the big injury note here is Tyron Smith, who left the game due to, well, an ankle injury. The same ankle he had, uh, he had injured um, earlier on. In the season, early on in the year, Connor McGovern rode up on him on a play. Smith hobbled off to the sidelines. He was smiling in the postgame interview, uh, but you know, but he, you know, he didn't come back into the game. He was also limping a bit after the game. So I'm not sure if it's terrible to where he needs to be on a stretcher. I'm not sure if he just needs to rest for the week and then take Sunday off. I don't know. But it's not a good thing. This is a red flag for Dallas and might require some off, some offensive line reshuffer, uh, reshuffling. reshuffling. Tyan Secchi. I don't know why I capitalized all of this. Uh, Tyan Secchi came into the game for him at left tackle. That was a bit surprising, honestly. Terrence Steele checked in at right tackle. And Lyle Collins was ejected out of the game for defending Dak Prescott because, you know, a uh, WFT player came on him, came after him, and, and, you know, it's a legal hit. It came after him, but, you know, players don't like to see their quarterback hit like that. Now, let's talk the player of the year. How about Micah Parsons? And how about them Cowboys? I'm just going to say that. He is in the, in the conversation for either the rookie of the year or, or the defensive player of the year. You know, and if he keeps playing like this, he has to win it. He had three tackles, a strip sack that led to a touchdown for Dallas, and two uh, two more sacks for this one. Now, the defensive player 
of the year is based on the stats, big time. And Parsons, unfortunately, is not in the lead with sacks. But it makes it and and it makes it more difficult for him to win this award. Now, uh, Tom Downey, Law Nation, um, I think Michael Vick, I think uh, others have said it could go to Miles Garrett. I'm not sure if Michael Vick said it, but I know other YouTube channels have another sack and a touchdown for him today. Now let's talk Dak Prescott. So Dak Prescott, uh, he's going into a couple of weeks where he's been bad. Uh, he's not been playing very well. He had some nice throws, nice plays, made some nice deep passes. A bit of a flash of who Dak Prescott really is and who he can be. But those two interceptions are some of the most awful and worst ever that Dak has has you know thrown. What a terrible decision by him. There is no excuse here. You know, you can say, oh, uh, you know, uh, Lamb or uh, Schultz stopped their routes. But the ball went right to the defender. They overshot C.D. Lamb. I, I, get, I, I don't know. I guess he didn't see Cole Holcomb, Lamb or, or uh, Holcomb or uh, uh, Dak or Lamb. But, you know, and he allows Washington to stick around. Dak is a huge reason why the Cowboys can, you know, have good games on the offense but he needs to play better if he and the offense and the rest of the team wants to improve overall this is his worst career performance against this team against the Washington football team in his history with the Cowboys in his now nine career games it was eight now it's nine that those two interceptions led to Washington really coming up, coming alive, and that's why they got 20. They should have won by more. But thank you, Doc. Uh, thank you, Dak. Thank you, offense. was not a good idea to do that. Now, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. We will be doing a live stream with Oscar, Josue Montiel. I will post his channel link. I will post our... Uh, uh, I will post our live stream link in the description so you can watch our live video tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. So right in a couple hours and you guys can watch Oscar and I react. And I'm sure he's going to have a lot to say about Washington because their performance wasn't good either. So make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe and I will see you all next time.